we continue with a second order reaction. In a second order reaction, the rate depends on the concentration of two reactants or to the square of single reactant. For example, if the reaction A produces products, it's a second order reaction. Therefore, we write the rate law as rate equals to Ka power 2. Graph of second order reaction. If we plot concentration versus time, is similar to the first order graph. You get a curve with the interception at y axis known as A0. However, the integrated rate law for second order will be different. 1 over A equals to KT plus 1 over A0 or 1 over A minus 1 over A0 equals to KT. All the integrated rate formulas student must memorize. Okay, if the graph for second order, if the rate versus time, sorry, rate versus concentration, then we get a curve. Uh, y equals to mx plus c. In comparison, you get a curve mathematically. Or you also can plot rate versus a power 2, which we get a linear y equals to mx plus c. If integrated rate law, we also can use the concept y equals to mx plus c, the linear equation. With the concentration uh, 1 over a versus time, the interception will be 1 over a naught is the interception c at axis y. Or we can also plot 1 over a minus 1 over a naught equals to, sorry, uh, versus time, which is also y equals to mx plus c. The difference is this one will pass through the origin, while this graph has an interception at axis y, 1 over a naught. Half-life for the second order is t half equals to 1 over k a naught. The half-life of second order reaction inversely proportional to the initial concentration. Example, half-life of decomposition of NO2 is 4, is 4 minute and it's a second order reaction. If 7.8 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar of NO2 allowed to decompose, calculate the rate constant time required to reduce the concentration to 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar. Okay, so since they say second order reaction, the integrated rate formula will be 1 over A0, sorry, 1 over A minus 1 over A0 equals to Kt. So half-life, we have seen the formula T half equals to 1 over K A0. So half-life is given for minutes in the question. 1 over K A0, A0 is um, given, yeah, 7.8 times 10 to the power minus 3. So we can find the K. In this case, the K is 32.05 per molar per minute, okay, because we use the half-life minute. And then uh, we want to find the time required to reduce the concentration to the new concentration. So we use the integrated 1 over A minus 1 over A naught equals to KT. So the T here is 15.5 minute. So you can see all is uh, substitution of the formulas. The important task here is to memorize the formulas. Okay, example number two. Uh, this one we shall, uh, we shall discuss in the, um, our tutorial class in detail. We will have questions about this. But just for, the, for your understanding, um, this is uh, more to the factors. Uh, looking at doubling the concentration, what will happen. Okay, So if for the reaction, if A is double, the rate also double. But doubling the B, B has no effect. So you can see here, mathematically, I think this is quite difficult to show here. If I mention or explain, we will practice this one in our tutorial class. Please remind me. 